I think that goes all the way to hell. There's an area down by Mexico. It's remote, desolate, and really hard to access. It'd been over 30 years since I'd been down there. So I loaded up my hounds and some mules and went down there to do a little exploring. I hate to turn down these little old two-track roads with a horse trailer, because you never know where you can turn around. But this one's pretty well-defined. And I, I mean, there's places I could back up into and work my way out. But I tell you what, now, this country is hard to get into. You, you just don't, I mean, it's just not that easy. It's, it, the access to it is terrible. But once you figure it out, it might be good if you don't want to be bothered by other people. Hold on, mule. In a world where the edges of civilization blur into the vast unknown, there lies a place untouched by the hands of time, a realm where the whispers of the wind tell stories of ancient tales lost to memory. like a pretty cool spot this is what I seen on Google Earth set of pins old line shack a solar I wonder if there's water here I'm not supposed to camp within 300 yards of water ah. I'm gonna get out and look around let these dogs run around a little bit Let's see what we got the middle of nowhere Bet there's no water here, though. Solar panel right there. Oh, drier than a popcorn fart. If I could ride somewhere to find water and water these mules, I'd be all right. This is a pretty desolate desert and remote. It's about as remote as a guy can get out here. Really is. Honey, I'm home. What's for dinner? Nothing? <clears throat> poochie, poochie, poochie. Water bottles. Sorry. Yeah. Well, it's country. Sebastian, 2021. Jess, 2019, 2019. Armando, Silas. Hey, get out of that. Hey, get out of there. It's a different kind of trash than I seen down in Arizona on the border. old no doubt about that don't know how old though I mean this was all added here by the rancher trying to make this hospitable to cattle pretty dry out here now I could always keep my mules in that pen right there
<laughs> now nah, let's get them out and see what we can do. I hope the rancher don't mind. But I hauled, there was a panel laying down right here. You can see the marks. And I hauled it over here because those wires were disconnected up there. Someone had cut them in two. So I hauled it over here so I could climb up there and I connected them back. <laughs> Look at that! I got water now, boys. Ha! Full bucket. That I carry in my when I pack in. Coming in kind of handy, really. Now, still got water running. Get these animals something to drink. Water in the desert, boys. It's a valuable commodity. This is about as remote as you can get. There's still a two-track road that leads to it. But it's wilderness on both sides of this road and you're not supposed to drive off of that and there hasn't been many people been back in here in a long time yesterday i was back off if you watch this video right here i was back off i don't know 25 30 miles that way and trying to figure out a way to get into these little hills and i'm still not into them the way i want to be it's remote i found this i I was on Google Earth and I found this little, I guess you'd call it a line shack. And uh, it's just out here in the middle of nowhere. And I figured there might be water here. I could see the solar panel, but uh, I wasn't hooked up. Go, Rusty, Rusty, that's enough. Go on, go on, go on, go on. And uh, I hooked up the solar panel and got it to work. It's pumping water. So now I got water for the dogs and the mules. But it's about one o'clock. It took me forever to get out here. I don't know. I might stay the night. I might leave. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It's nice. I, there's something about remote, lonely, desolate places that attract me. I just, it's just a feeling of peace and freedom that you get from being out here. I get from being out here. Anyway. up here to what they call Hagen Tank which is about I don't know how many miles it's quite a few miles that way I got my bag with me and everything if I decide to spend the night then I'll go ahead and 
find a good place to camp and camp out. I got everything I need. I'd like to find water for the mules at least, but uh, we'll see. There's supposed to be a tank, what we call a dirt tank, but a, a source of water up here somewhere. If there's not, I'm just gonna have to curl back, back, back over to the to the truck and the trailer. I might be able to get there before dark. I'm pretty sure I can. I think that set of pins right up there in front of me. That might be old Festa, Festa's Hagen tank. They call it Hagen tank. Corn, bread, butter, milk, and good old Gracie Gray. Hagen, Hagen, H-A-G-E-N, I believe. Maybe there's water there. I haven't seen any fresh cow tracks, though. There's old cow tracks. Dry as a popcorn fart. Look at this little thing over here. Gotta watch out for wire in these places like that. little hut of some sort so with no water to be found and not much out here interesting me I headed back to the truck I knew it was gonna be close but I wanted to get back before it got dark further than I thought. I've been over two hills and I still can't see. I need to see the crater and then when I see the crater I think I can line up and know where the camp is or the truck and trailer. I sure hope, I, I sure wishing I could find some water out here somewhere. There she is. We made it. Sun's just setting. Oh me, I'm just gonna pop up my rooftop tent and uh, camp right there. Pretty good place, I think. It's a beautiful evening, the wind quit blowing. It's nice, nice, nice. Tomorrow morning, that helicopter I'm gonna go to that crater right there I'm gonna ride into that crater that's a volcano crater right there I don't know if you can see it from here with this camera I think they call that Aiden 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 crater and then they got that Aiden lava flow which I imagine is where the lava all came out of that crater a volcano yeah there's that helicopter way up there This is a regular flight path through here, I guess, to El Paso from probably from Phoenix or Tucson or something like that. That one's up pretty high. The other two were down low. I think one of those or maybe both of those other ones were Border Patrol because Mexico Mexico is just right on the other side of those mountains right there. Right there. Matter of fact, I got on the Mexican cell phone tower. 
<laughs> How you doing, Ruth? Pretty good. Thought I found. Thought I dropped her. If I'd have found a good place with water, I would have just kept riding and went and camped out there somewhere. But I'm scared there's no water out here. This is a, this is an old dry, desolate desert for sure. Anyway, ah, it's a pretty good day. I came out here in about 1984. I barely, barely remember it. I used to come out here, two-wheel drive truck. I didn't have a four-wheel drive. And I come out here and uh, I had a couple Airedales. And I come out here and try to call coyotes. And it... it this area fascinated me back then also because it's so remote and I remember I came out here with a guy named Arturo Terrazas he was a friend of mine he was a guy that I worked with and we got a dog out of a trap out here he was in he had gotten in a in a in a trap and Arturo we named that dog Trapper and uh, Arturo kept that dog I and I bet I haven't, I haven't heard from Maturo. I wonder if he's still alive. It's been 30 years or more. But, yeah, we came out here and he showed, a lot of people come out here and, I say a lot, people used to come out here and deer hunt quite, quite a bit. And those were back in the days where deer tags were just over the counter. And I, and, you know, and there is a lot of deer out here because I've seen probably, 15 maybe 20 head of deer so and there's some big bucks out here people tell stories about these big bucks but i don't know it just it i like it because it's remote i like it because of the sense of uh alone you get i guess the, the sense of freedom you're just out here you know you're on your own but i don't know i don't I got other places I want to go. I'm going to go tomorrow morning. I'll show you guys the crater. Man, I'm going to button everything up. Put my weapon up in my tent with me. I'm just going to load up. I'm going to get up early and I'm going to load up and get the heck out of here. All right, guys. Whoa. Got my tent deployed. Keeps you warm. Keeps you dry. Keeps the booger mans from getting you. Maybe. Come on, you guys get out of the way, P. P, come here. Mr. Bean. No, 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 no. You guys act, act like you want something from me this morning. I don't have nothing for you. Where's Fat Lori? There's Bosco P. Coltrane. No, no, don't knock my phone, my camera over. Lori? Ta-da!
Can't even fly your hang glider in there. Come here, Fat Lori. This is about ugly. I don't, know. don't know if I like this. It's interesting. That's about it. Barking on something. They've been barking on it all morning. Let me see if a dog goes down right there. That's not bad. Holy moly. Looks pretty cool. Look at that right there. Go right down through there, Brenda. You did good getting up here. Just don't step on me going down. sweetheart it's ugly in here isn't it looks like something bad it was an explosion it was a volcano I reckon Yeah, that's we don't. Let's ride and let's look at that other part. I think that goes all the way to hell. Think we can get down there, Brenda.
gray foxes run right up the side of that hill. <laughs> That's what these dogs have been barking on. Well, this was worth the whole trip right here. Can you imagine the violence, the explosion, the, what well, was, you know, it was just terrible. I wonder how many thousands of years ago this happened. I'll look it up like they know. We got these really, really smart guys that know how to research all that. <laughs> ah, that was good. There's the lava flow right there. Oh, look how far it goes. You know, I enjoyed seeing the crater and I like the solitude and the distance it is from everything. But I got other places I think I'd rather go. There's just not a lot out here to attract me right now. So it's getting to be summertime. It's gonna be warming up. We're gonna get into some high country, do some packing, see some more country. So guys, stay tuned and thank you for watching. Commence system shutdown.